Welcome to our devotion today on identity, design, and purpose. Today we're going to read out of Romans 5, verse 1 and 2. Therefore, having been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom also we have access by faith into this grace in which we stand and rejoice in hope of the glory of God. Now, this passage of Scripture is loaded with truths about your identity as a believer in Christ. First off, you've been justified. Now, that's a Christian word or Christianese word, but um, it means to declare or proclaim one as just or innocent or righteous. It, it carries with this idea that you've been made the way you ought to be or, or the way you were meant to be. It's a restorative word. It, it, it's a word that indicates you have been restored and are viewed by God as innocent. And that, my friends, is huge. Although we've all sinned, this gift of being justified renders us innocent, and it sets us free from the punishment of our sin. It goes hand in hand with what we talked about yesterday, about being free from condemnation. Being justified pulls back the veil just a little bit further, and it reveals to us the reason why we can live without condemnation. Um, it's because we've been declared innocent by our Heavenly Father. The Scripture, it, it, also, it also declares that we are at peace with God through Christ. I grew up convinced God was mad at me all the time, and he was just waiting to punish me. That belief is not at all accurate. When you're born again, you are at peace with God. While there was transgression and sin and offense between you and God, when you're born again, it's no longer there. This peace with God indicates that you and God, your relationship, you're good with each other. We're also told that we have access by faith into this grace in which we stand. Having access to his grace is incredible. Another place in scripture we're told that we can boldly approach his throne of grace in a time of, in a time of need. Grace is his unmerited favor. It's not earned. It's just something God gives to us freely. It's a gift of God that assures that we do not get what we deserve and we get what we do not deserve. Does that make sense? I, I had a friend years ago that, that gave me this, this picture of mercy and grace. Let's just picture you're up on a cliff. At the bottom of the cliff, hundreds of feet below, are rocks with jagged edges. If you fall and you land on the rocks, you're dead. Certain death awaits you. Now, let's say you fall off the cliff. You hit the rocks below and you're looking around and you realize you're not dead. That's the mercy of God. You did not get what you deserved. But then all of a sudden, you find yourself restored. Back on the cliff, no bumps, bruises, no cuts. You're back on the cliff where you began as if you never fell in the first place. That is the grace of God. It makes sure that you get what you do not deserve. That's huge. That's huge for all of us. You have access to that grace of God, not because you deserve his favor, no, but because he gives it to you freely. God's favor on your life changes everything. Now, today, I want you to walk in the confidence, knowing that God has declared you innocent, that you are at peace with God and his favor is upon you. That's it for today. Join us again tomorrow for more on identity, design, purpose. God bless.